the evening before I presented to the hospital was was the first indication that there was a, um, a really uh, that there was something major wrong. It wasn't the um, the usual front of the chest clenching or heavy weight. It was more of a um, a sharp stabbing pain under my armpit. It was a pain that was um, not normal for me. Um, it was very very severe. Um, so I took myself straight off to the hospital. Normal tests were taken, and over the period of you know, 24 to 48 hours, um, it was diagnosed that I had had um, a heart attack. And um, then I remained in hospital for um, some additional procedures, which included stenting. A stent is a, it's a metal mesh scaffold, which is placed into the narrowing of the artery, opened up with a balloon or expanded with a balloon, and it, that, that, that then keeps the artery open. I had three stents inserted. So there were um, no issues for the better part of 12, 12 or 15 months. Um, and then what occurred was I was starting to fall back into that tired routine, nausea, um, some of the common symptoms of, um, of the heart disease appointment. What occurred was um, I had a, an attack. I was put through the angiogram on the Monday morning and was basically told pretty much straight out of the angiogram that I'd needed um, to have uh, a bypass. As part of the bypass operation, a cardiac surgeon what, what we call harvest normal blood vessels from another part of the body, such as from the arm, from the leg, or from, with, from with, within inside of the chest. And those normal arteries are then attached beyond the narrowing that occurs in the diseased artery. And by doing so, the blood flow is then used to bypass the narrowing that was causing the initial coronary artery disease or the blockages in the heart, and that's why it's called a coronary artery bypass. It is a major operation involved, and there is quite a significant amount of recovery that's involved as part of it, but it is a very useful and, 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 and long-lasting operation with good outcomes. The bypass was as I'd expected. The first few days in the hospital were quite tough, interjected by periods of, I wouldn't say depression, but certainly um, some introvert feelings, um, also with some hallucinations um, on the back of, I would think, the medications that, um, that you need to be on, um, and then followed by a serious amount of pain. When Phil first came out of hospital, it was quite scary to see that he was so sick and the kids and I, well the kids especially, didn't quite know how to handle it. Since the bypass, there's been a number of changes that, um, that we've made. I've gone back to um, a different role, which has significantly less stress, um, which has been a godsend. Um, it's allowed me to focus on, on my health and my family. We've made changes in our eating habits. I found um, post-operative counselling really, really helpful. That's actually helped me um, in dealing with my own mortality, uh, which was a struggle. The nice cars, the flashy houses, they're all great, but um, you know, extending your life and being healthy, uh, being around to see the important, uh, the important moments and times in your family's life um, is really what's important. Oh, heart research is obviously so important to us because this has now happened to us. Um, it's something that you always never think is gonna happen to you, but it has, and it's kept my husband alive. Um, I think medical innovation has um, basically enabled me to still be here. I think it's opened his eyes that something could have happened to him and so therefore he is a lot more appreciative of the time that he has with the family. Uh, we live in exciting times when it comes to cardiac research. There have been such great developments that have occurred in the last few decades. You don't know who this disease is going to affect. It could be your wife, your husband, your son, your grandson. Please help as much as you can.